did you really find a million dollars in the trunk of a car and, and, and turn it in? Did you yeah. do that? You did yeah. that for real, huh? He's a visionary director of the highest order. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Ridley Scott movies. For this list, we're counting down the best feature films of this director's remarkable career. While he's produced numerous commercials and television shows, we're highlighting his work as a film director only. Let's keep going. Number 10, Legend. I am the Lord of Darkness. Taking inspiration from traditional fairy tales and Disney cartoons to craft his vision, Ridley Scott built a fantastical and original world for his characters to inhabit in Legend. Ah, mortal world turned to ice. Here be goblin paradise. Starring Mia Sara in her big screen debut alongside Tom Cruise and a devilish Tim Curry, this Ridley Scott fantasy adventure flick is filled with glorious unicorns and is applauded for the spectacular costume design. Clever boy! <laughs> Legend highlighted the battle between good and evil as Princess Lily and Jack confront the almighty power of darkness. While Scott's fourth feature film was a box office failure, Legend has since become a cult classic thanks to the visuals of his dark, whimsical world. Now what are we here? <sighs> a little boy. Number 9. Matchstick Men. It's real money, Roy. It's real money, it's long con. I don't do long con. <laughs> With this film, Scott turned to dark comedy, casting Nicolas Cage as an obsessive compulsive con man or con artist with a few eccentricities. Sir, <laughs> please wait your turn. I know, I know, but th this is an emergency. Hey, buddy, ever heard of a lie? Hey, have you ever been dragged to the sidewalk and being tell you pissed blood? Life was hard enough trying to get by with his partner in crime, but then a 14-year-old girl shows up claiming to be his daughter. Angela wants to talk to you, though. Who? Angela, your daughter. Instead of focusing his energies on his trademark visuals, Scott decides to let the talented actor's performances breathe, instead letting the characters and relationships shine. You're a con man? Con artist. Flim flam man, matchstick man, loser, whatever you want to call it, take your pick. More fun than his normal flair, matchstick man is atypical for Scott, but it proves that the director can work his magic in any number of genres, and is not averse to trying new things. You're thinking, daddy, daddy, what am I selling? Well, what you're selling is you. And the older the better, but beware of couples. You don't want anyone whispering your marks here but you. And for God's sake, Make sure the person you're conning isn't conning you. That's good. All right, good. Let's go kick some bot. Number eight, Kingdom of Heaven. Although the religious aspects of this historical epic have been hotly debated, the pure drama and striking cinematography were instantly applauded. Loosely based on actual events of the 12th century crusades, Kingdom of Heaven stars Orlando Bloom as a widowed blacksmith destined for glory. Is this wise to show your intentions? Better surely to let him wonder. The 144 minute film features excellent performances and the 130 million dollar budget allowed for beautiful shooting locations in both Morocco and Spain. But, according to the director himself, the plot was watered down with excessive editing that made sure the film flopped. Ridley Scott later released a director's cut with 45 extra minutes of footage, which renewed interest in Kingdom of Heaven and improved its standing with audiences. So I say let them come! Let them come! Come on! Come on! Come on! Number 7. The Duelists. Based on a Joseph Conrad short story, Ridley Scott made his successful directorial debut with this lavish production. In the early 19th century lived an extremely intense Frenchman who took an insult just a little bit too far. You have insulted me. You have insulted me! I have strained my patience in order not to do so. And I demand an apology! How far, you ask? Well, Lieutenant Gabriel Ferreau obsessed over an unfinished duel for decades and capitalized on every opportunity to kill his nemesis, Armand Dubert. You draw your sword. Am 
by God, I'll chase you down the street like a chicken. With Harvey Keitel and Keith Carradine in the lead roles, The Duelists was finally acted, but the grand production and jaw-dropping fight scenes are simply on another level. With characteristically stylized visuals that harken back to the paintings of the era, Scott made his mark early. I have submitted to your notions of honor long enough. You will now submit to mine. Number six, American Gangster. The third director to join this project, Ridley Scott was able to sign the talented star actors necessary to make this film a success. Most important thing in business is honesty. Integrity, hard work, family, never forgetting where we came from. Based on the life of New York City drug dealer Frank Lucas and, at Scott's insistence, his relationship with lawyer Richie Roberts, American Gangster takes a blunt look at the realities of the criminal underworld. Either you're somebody or you're nobody. Denzel Washington stars as the cautious lead character who takes over the Harlem drug world and rules his territory with shocking violence. Oh, what you gonna do? What the f you gonna do, Frank? Huh? What you doing? You gonna shoot me in front of everybody? Huh? Come on. Critics generally praise this Academy Award nominated film as Scott highlighted a dark chapter in the Big Apple's history and heightened the drama for the big screen. I'm taking you shopping this week. Number five, Thelma and Louise. You said you and me was gonna get out of town and for once just really let our hair down. Well, darling, look out, cause my hair is coming down. Sure, life didn't exactly go as planned for these ladies, but they sure made us smile. Oh, darling, I'm so happy for you. That's great, I really am. You finally got laid properly, <laughs> That's so sweet. They made us cry too, which is why Thelma and Louise connected with so many, in large part thanks to the as-them unexploited talent of Ridley Scott for comedy. I finally understand what all the fuss is about. With the lovable Gina Davis and Susan Sarandon in the lead roles, this film addresses domestic abuse and conveys the idea that anyone can break free of their problems, whether psychological or geographical. We're fugitives now, right? Let's start behaving like that. Right. Thelma and Louise earned six Academy Award nominations, including a well-earned nod for Ridley Scott as Best Director. You're a good friend. You too, sweet of the best. Number four, Black Hawk Down. We got a Black Hawk Down, we got a Black Hawk Down. Released just months after the events of 9-11, this war film based on the book of the same name focused on the 1993 battle between American forces and Somali militiamen. to the militia that we're coming! While the drama was obviously exaggerated for the screen, the actual details of the engagement remained a mystery for many Americans until they were highlighted in Black Hawk Down. I understand, but it is my duty to remind him that my men are surrounded by thousands of armed Somali militia. Agree or disagree with the politics behind the story, Ridley Scott handled the subject matter with care and refrained from typical genre cliches, expertly directing a talented ensemble cast. We, we have two things we can do. We can either help, or we can sit back and watch country destroy itself on CNN. As a result, he offered viewers one of the most polished war films of the decade and was awarded for his work with an Oscar nomination. You're not gonna die, all right? You're not gonna die. Number three, Gladiator. So much for the glory of Rome. Tempted by the idea of bringing ancient Rome to the big screen in his own special way, Ridley Scott accepted the challenge of directing this picture. Take my hand. I only offer it once. Inspired by similarly themed Hollywood sword and sandal epics, he set out about telling the tale of a general turned slave traumatized by the murder of his family, who must rise through the gladiatorial ranks to come face to face with his worst enemy. Win the crowd, and you'll win your freedom. Bolstered by powerhouse performances from both Joaquin Phoenix and Russell Crowe, Gladiator became one of Scott's biggest critical and commercial hits, winning five Academy Awards, including those for Best Actor for Crowe and Best Picture. Loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius. Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance. Number two, Alien. Here's a film that not only transformed the horror and sci-fi genres, but also changed the face of cinema as a whole. Well, let's talk about killing it. 
We know it's using the air shafts. Will you listen to me, Parker? Shut up! Horrifying and wildly entertaining, Alien completely freaked out audiences as an unassuming space crew is terrorized by an extraterrestrial. Inspired by the success of Star Wars, Scott wanted to utilize special effects to their full advantage, and the result was the film that put him on the international map. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. With revolutionary visual effects, strong acting, and masterful pacing, Ridley Scott directed one of the best films of all time with only his second feature. Not everyone was impressed at first, but decades later, the legacy of Alien speaks for itself. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Welcome aboard, man. Number one, Blade Runner. Shall we continue? Truly a game changer for Ridley Scott and Hollywood filmmaking, Blade Runner mixed classic film noir with a sci-fi dystopian world, and it was awesome. A new life awaits you in the off-world color. The great American writer Philip K. Dick was largely unknown to mainstream audiences in the early 80s, but his status was instantly elevated when Scott adapted his story about a futuristic operative played by Harrison Ford. You trust me. Though it was a box office disappointment, Blade Runner is undoubtedly one of the most influential movies of the 20th century, featuring all of the hallmarks of a Ridley Scott film. I need you, Dex. This is a bad one. The worst yet. I need the old Blade Runner. It also proved that Scott was far more than just a good director. He was, and is, one of the best. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. So, do you agree with our list? What is your favorite Ridley Scott movie? Dallas? For more mind-blowing top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Too bad she won't live. But then again, who does?